Hey, hey, queens and kings, welcome back. And thank you guys so much for watching as well as returning. So as you all can see, we're in the master bathroom here. And I'm giving you guys an overview of how my master bathroom looks just with the regular apartment appliances and everything like that. But we're actually going to give this bathroom a good facelift as a bougie luxury facelift so first thing first what i'm gonna do is basically take the mirror down as you all can see it is horizontal well it was and i take it down and i'm gonna put it back up vertical just to give me like a long elongated floor mirror or a vanity type style so but before i do that i'm actually gonna clean the walls and paint them which i'm not gonna show you guys that part on camera but i'm gonna use this barkeeper's friends here the soft cleanser and I'm going to use this to clean the overhead where the lights is located at because it's like got rust and everything on it. So I found that by using this as well as a pot scrubber. I forgot what the type of that pot scrubber, but I'll probably insert a clip to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm going to use that to get some of this rust off that I see here and you know, bring it back to the shine as best as possible as I can do. got a little shine but it's still a little dull but you see that rust there just coming all off there that is exactly what that is that is rust but the barkeeper soap um cleanser did pretty much good but i'm gonna go in with this pot scrubber here this i can't think of the name of but you guys know what i'm talking about i got these from walmart but you can actually find them in dollar tree too but i found out sometime last year when i decided to do my little diy chandelier or whatever i used this to actually get some of the rust off not knowing that it was actually going to do that and it pretty much did that and brought a much of a shine back to it as well so i'm just going to scrape away with this and then i'm just going to take a paper towel and clean it off again so therefore we can see how shiny and pretty it actually look now it's not going to give a brand new look but it's going to give a look okay it's going to do what it need to do it's going to get okay now you're about to clean it off and you're gonna see what i'm talking about now you see the shine that is coming back to that child that was a little hack there a little apartment hack honey yes that's a little apartment hack so i showed you guys something that you probably can do in your homes because i know everybody don't have these but you the ones that live in an apartment you know these little dingy lights and stuff and you're like Ugh, why they look like that so try this hack here out um this pot scrubber um I'm not sure exactly what the name of it. I still can't think of it, but it giving me what I needed to give. And look how shiny that is, but clean it off a little bit more. All right, Queen King. So I don't want to change some clothes so I could get nitty gritty into doing this bathroom pretty much update a makeover. So what I want to do is pretty much give this a drama effect. Now I'm thinking about using this black tape here to do like the backgrounds like little scrapes and stuff like that like i pretty much did for the um door you know that effect and then i'm thinking about since that i don't change the mirror up to vertical other than horizontal it gives me like a vanity vibe and as you all can see here i use washi tape so far to outline it just to hide that little ugliness of the mirror that you all see right there um just to give it like a border too as well but what i'm also thinking about is see i have this mirror contact paper i'm thinking about doing scripts of mirror contact paper over here just to give it a little more shine and glam look because i'm also thinking about putting the mirror contact paper on the doors to give me like a a, a vanity vibe pretty much a glam uh, vibe other than painting the um outlines here because i was going to paint that white like i did in the other one since i have the white paint and i did the little updates over there but i'm going to go back over that another coat too because i still can see like the little outline but that's neither here or there but 
I'm actually thinking about using this, like I said, this, this mirror contact paper. Hopefully I have enough. I know I won't have enough to cover each one. So I'm gonna do the outlines because I actually do have some real mirrors that I could pretty much put on there as a face and just to bring it out a little bit more. So that's my idea of doing. So let's go ahead and pretty much get started. Cause you know, I think I'm gonna take this off. Cause it, it don't stand out, it don't pop. Yeah, I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with our black tape. And the pattern I'm going for is not a pattern. Basically, I just wanna look like that. Okay, I decided to put this tape up here this way. I decided to put this tape up here that way. Not nothing that looked like it been thought out and say the whole, I want this perfect shape here. I want that perfect shape there or that angle. No, that's not what I'm going for. But as you can see, I'm having trouble already because you see that the tape? Did you see that tape started falling down like somebody was peeling it? Girl, it just won't let me be great. But I'm going for more of the look and style that I had in my master closet when I was living in the four bedroom. That's basically what I'm doing here. And I didn't mean to mention like the idea of look that I did on the front door. But hey. This can update any room in your house if you don't want to paint nothing or put up um, contact paper on the wall, you know. But I'm going to let you Queens and Kings enjoy this video or enjoy this. But I will be back to talk to you guys pretty soon. But if you are enjoying the video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. And turn on your post notification bell if you decided to subscribe. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, so don't look too bad, but the areas here, they look uniform, you know, like they were thought out. I want to put some other shapes, probably little smaller shapes up in there, um, something. But what I should have done was dust up there first because the tape is pretty hard to, um, it's not pretty much sticking. Um, I have the lights off because of the super, the super fat on the fan behind us it'd be so loud so I don't know see this one here keep coming down so I'm gonna have to do this over I'm gonna have to take the paint I mean I'm gonna take this tape off that I don't put up there and waste my time doing and uh, clean the walls let them dry then come back all right, y'all, so this is pretty much what I have done here. It look a little better, but it's still not gonna hold up. That tape is not sticky, so I may just have to go ahead and order some black washi tape, cause it's just not holding up. Do you guys remember what I had did? Use this, made it out of like a, um, a chandelier, not a chandelier, um, basically a coverall, what I did in the other apartment. So by this ceiling so high, that's when I realized um, when I went back and thought about it. I was able to use like, um, not S hooks, but they something like S hooks, but it got where you're able to screw them in the ceilings, the little hooks, like whatever you can hold something, but it's curved and it got a hook. It curved like a hook and I baby can screw it up in the ceiling. So that's how I pretty much had this up. But by the ceiling is higher, that means I would have to go further up or try to find a chain that can hang down lower, which I don't want that look. So, 
what I'm thinking about doing is you curtain rod hook. Now, these are from Ikea. See that thing just fell? See, this is not gonna work. So these are from Ikea. So what I'm thinking about is trying to put this here and pretty much have this to come out to here to hang off of it like that. But I gotta get the hook. So what I'm gonna do is utilize the ones that I have in my bedroom right now, holding up my curtain and find another curtain rod hook or whatever so therefore I can put my curtains back up to basically give me the look that I want. But I need to go to Ikea, but I go to Ikea, I'm gonna spend more money than I wanna spend, but I don't know. So, cause you see the tape is coming out. It's coming, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I'm just going here to get on Amazon and order me some of that tape, uh, washi tape, because that black tape there is not working for these walls. So I'm just do washi tape, cause I do actually like the way how that looks. You know, it give a pops. And now I'm gonna put this glam up there. It's gonna pop even more. So, but what I'm gonna do for the outlines though, I'm just gonna use this mirror paper cut down scripts to go to the side of it. And that's how I'm gonna outline the mirror. And then I'm gonna work my way down to the bottom. So hopefully I can get this all done today. Other than the, the washi tape, I know that's just not gonna get done today. So I'm not even gonna worry about that. Just hopefully the tape doesn't take longer to come. <sighs> yeah, so far so good. The vision is coming to life. So it has a script on it, like a um, a film on like a plastic protector. So it's not as shiny as like the mirror is, but you, you get the point. So can I bring y'all up a little closer so you see? Okay, so that right there. So I'm using the, um, whatever this blade is, to cut off the extra pieces, child, the, the, the extraness on it. That's pretty much what I'm doing. So, but I'm gonna take the film off first because I messed that side up by not removing the film part. But whoop, the blade to just cut it like that part thin. So I think I want this one to be thin too. One thing I do like about this is forgivable. But the thing is, I'm trying to cover that part, so that's why it's not as thin as that one over there either. But like, who really gonna be paying attention to that? I don't be nosy all the time. All right, so now I got a little border going on. And I'm fine with that. I don't know do I want to take it to the bottom in the top because the crystal is pretty much going to cover the top part. I don't know. And as you all can see, I don't took the stuff down. So the, pa the tape won't be here until Monday. So this is gonna be more than one day job. All right, y'all. So these are the hooks right here that I got from my curtain rod. This is what my curtain rod is on. These are from Ikea. So what I'm gonna do is basically take these off and I'm gonna utilize this part as the hook part to go on the back and this the hook up from that end. So I'm gonna show you guys. It's just a screw on, screw off. I wish I'd have got more of these. So instead of it being like this, the short way to extend it, it's gonna be longer. So I'm gonna put it up here 
it be that going to give me more room because this part slides in like that and this screws in like this screws in the hole Ooh, yeah, trying to show y'all and do this all at the same time so basically you can um swap it around so yeah Hmm. I thought I had more, but I think it's on a three come in a pack. So like this, it pretty much just gonna hang up like this on it. So therefore, it gives me a leeway out. But right now I have these held up by um, fishing line. So I'm gonna take these off and basically I'm gonna use just some wire, some hooks that I made like these the hooks. So yeah, I think I have some, but I'm not sure. I have to look in my stash, uh, my, my crafting stash, but I'm gonna do this and I'll be back with you all. Queens and Kings, so I done put the rod up there as you all can see, as well as start hanging some of the crystals on there. Now at this point here, I'm just basically trying to get them even like you see a long, they're short, long, short. I'm trying to find a rhythm of how I'm gonna do it because Dre and I both are tall, but I don't want them to be too long to the point that it obstruction, you know, obstructing the, um, the viewing of point of having like pretty much a full body mirror at this point right here though but uh this is tedious <laughs> so i pretty much will have to be back y'all once i even pretty much get this all done hey hey queens and kings i just jumped on just to do tell you guys pretty much you won't get this video well you're not getting this video tomorrow which is wednesday because i felt behind on doing some things uh right now i'm in the bathroom I have already done like give the cabinet the mirror effect with the mirror contact paper or mirror that's contact paper right that I ordered from Amazon so it came in as long with the washi tape which they only had one I wish they had two so I just went on and got it um so I'm doing that to give the vanity like a like I said a mirror effect so we're gonna see pretty much how this is gonna turn out. You guys seen the before of it. I just show you guys the after because it's just putting on contact paper, cutting it to size. And honey, this is tedious like a mother of So I don't see how y'all do a whole countertop and stuff like that. And I'm just doing the cabinet doors. Girl, this is too much. But so far what I'm liking is very cute. I am thinking about putting some knobs on the um handle, but I don't know, do I want to drill them in? or glue it onto the contact paper. I don't know. I got to see how it's going to look glued on first because if not, I'm just going to have to make some holes in these cabinets. But I just came on just to give you guys a little update what is going on because I was just too lazy to do anything yesterday, uh, Monday, when the contact paper and stuff came in. I cooked and cleaned it, and so I wasn't in the mood. I was done. I was done. But anyway, I just jumped on for the um tell you guys that so next time that you all see me, uh well yeah, I think next time when I come back on, I pretty much probably be giving you guys the whole full tour of this video. So like I said, you didn't get it Wednesday, you didn't get nothing Thursday. Well you didn't get nothing Thursday. So you're gonna get this video actually today that you'll be seeing it will be friday but today that i'm recording it is actually tuesday so i do apologize i'm trying to stay consistent i've been doing good pretty much but honestly i'm i need another break i didn't that break wasn't long enough which something was telling me just take two weeks val just take it because you need the two weeks but i was like no you know i'm sagittarius my word is my bond so therefore i said i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do it so yeah, but anyways, let me stop rambling because that's basically what I'm doing. And I see you guys pretty much when I guess I'll be done in here. Yeah, like I said, Friday when I get ready to reveal the bathroom to you all. So.
have dreams without us I just want it to stop Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop All right, Queens and Kings, the moment that you all have been waiting for to see my updated Modern Glam Master Bathroom. Now, there are some changes, which pretty much you guys will know about the changes that I want to do in here. We'll add on in here is you'll have to see it in the, um, the vlog because I'm vlogging. I'm doing two videos in one. <laughs> So, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and here she goes. Oh my god. Yeah, I am loving this. Look at the vanity. Look at it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> only if she can stay like this oh my god y'all look at her look look at her oh my god I am loving it I am loving my bathroom. I'm loving her. Look at that. Look at my chandelier. Isn't she gorgeous? She gorgeous. She gorgeous. Yeah, she gorgeous. But look at it. Take it all in. Take it all in. So the biggest effect and change, obviously, was the sink area. Was the sink area, and I'm not mad at it. Only changes over here, basically, I put these back over here, but it's gonna be another change because I actually want to put a canvas um, and remove those signs there. But only change over here was that I use napkin rings actually to give me like um, a tie back pretty much a fake I am in love I love it <laughs> so just put curtains over here here's the rug so I end up keeping the rugs the mats or whatever you want to call them and I'm loving it I just love it I put this little extra pillow that I had over here. Why? I don't know, but it's just there. It's just there just to take up space pretty much. Oh my goodness, this black looks so gorgeous in here. So gorgeous. Look up there. Try not to be in the camera as much as I can. But look at that. Girl, body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. I am loving it. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I even love the design on the back of the wall. I actually thought about putting it somewhere else in the bathroom, which was pretty much on this wall here, so it can mimic this wall. What do you all think? Should I, or should I just leave these or do like a cute little modern DIY like the little what they call it, app scrap art piece or whatever I don't know but you know ideas is going through my head ideas going through my head so this is how the vanity turned out and I'm loving it as you all see I got the real mirror on this so it basically enhance it make it look real 
even though you can see the little imperfections of the contact paper but i still love it i'm gonna show you guys one more thing that light is a motion light so you know put a little bit light in here not much but it goes off quick as you all will see in a moment here it don't stay on long <laughs> okay you're not gonna turn off but um yeah i guess it's not gonna turn off <laughs> but oh there she goes there she goes and i still have a little night light there that is from bath and body works so let me just tell you all give you all a rundown where everything is from so therefore you all won't be like yeah where that from where that from but um if you watch my vlogs and stuff you'll know pretty much what this stuff is from a lot of it is reused only thing is pretty much new in here is actually the rug from amazon that pillow throw pillow there and the soap pump those are the only thing new in you know the contact paper on the wall but other than that everything i already had in my house that's still there i don't think that's gonna never change that little area down here is basically where my laundry basket go in oh and the curtains are new those are from amazon and that's just a DIY base there. Towels. These are simple DIYs. I got these containers from the Dollar General. And just put some knobs on there. Towels and a collection of glass perfume bottles. And a Chanel bag up there. And I use the washi tape as you all seen. And I'm loving it. Yeah, don't worry about my, my, my dirt junky room. But don't worry about it. I love it. So this here was pretty much a as you all seen the diy um curtain effect i had this in my old apartment but i didn't have it like this it was actually hanging from the ceiling but by this ceiling is so much taller so therefore i went with this method here and i'm loving it it's just like a sheet of crystals and i love it i love that i love that for me so balance some more of the crystal round. I have this paper towel holder here that I don't have no paper towels in just yet. Um, oh, the light from Amazon. It's a motion light. So since I stepped there, that's why I came on. And I glued some knobs on here. And these mirrors are from Michaels or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. I think it's Michaels, though. I think I paid no more than like $8 for those. But I've had those for a while. They've been on my bar cart and everything. Now they on my doors in my bathroom so it gave me like that uh, mirror vanity effect so i love that oh so over here over the toilet these are diy's dollar tree items everything is dollar tree even the sticker in there that i spell out the words as well as the frames so that probably about maybe seven dollars just so i could get enough letters but that was before it came 125 for them so yeah about seven dollars now this canvas here is from the poster store or decennial i'm not sure exactly which one because i was buying from both sites at the same time and so i just basically still have towels over here and over here is another candle with uh victoria's secret spray you know just in case a little poopy or whatever and a crystal over there but i like this just because it's simple but i do still want to like do something else different over here just because i don't had this effect and pretty much every bathroom but yeah that's the master closet walk-in closet we remove the doors because they are like these metal doors and they keep falling off they're coming off the hand they don't stay on you can see from the little cheap little glide thing whatever that is there but yeah and i use curtain not curtains but um crystals as tie backs as the garland that i have up there for the diy chandelier or whatever so i use that as tie backs and that's pretty much it, Queens of King, for the bathroom. How do you guys like it? Do you like it? Did I hit the nail on the coffin? Like, I really do like this. I didn't think I was going to like it. I didn't think I was going to like it. Well, I didn't think, not that I didn't think I was going to like it, but I, I don't know. I just felt like it was going to be over the top, and really that's what I wanted, over the top. I actually had spray painted a big vase to go there, but it was like it was just too much, like, bam, in your face. I was like, no, and then I think the black on it was glossy. I didn't want black glossy, so I went with more of a matte look. So I just basically recycled something that I already had in my home. 
But yeah, and all these little perfume bottles came from probably Ross or something like that. Cause they are very affordable. So yeah, queens and kings, what do you all think? What do you all think? So if your queens and king likes this video, enjoy the bathroom makeover on a dime, you know, on a budget. I am bougie luxury. That's pretty much me check me out <laughs> but um i wanted a luxe modern but glam feel in my apartment and i think i pulled that off i am loving this child i know they say black don't crack which it doesn't but honey i didn't know it was just like this luxe just this this look good like look good girl i'm gonna pat myself on the back for this one here yes i am I'm gonna toot my own horn at this point here. Toot toot. <laughs> but anyways, queens and keys, I hope you guys enjoyed my bathroom makeover done on a budget. You know what I'm saying? If you all did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And this queen will talk to you, queens and kings, in the next video. Bye bye.